And please feel free again to write in the box if you want to say hi, because it's not just to us. We know most of you, but you might not all know each other. So feel mm. free to continue saying hello. Mm -hmm. And I would like to say a warm welcome to Venerable Lupeka, who landed pretty well and seems pretty perky. She said it was like coming home. So, of course, as monastics, yeah. we have many homes. It doesn't mean this is her exclusive home, but for now it is yeah. for the next five months. And uh, it's a great support for the whole community. Yeah. Um, it enriches our community a lot. So I thought that since um, you're used to hearing me teach the meta meditation for a bit of variety, it would be wonderful mm -hmm. if Ben and Mulepeka could uh, share some practice with us all and... Um, mm -hmm. and uh, just let you enjoy the offering. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so, yeah. The Venerable Chanda is going to be a participant, silent participant, participant, and enjoy the meta. Yeah, and move to, move to another seat. I might. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. By the way, just before we start, um, you know, sometimes the microphone goes a bit quiet or the voice goes a bit quiet. If that happens, somebody can just shout out, even Matthias, it's okay. Because shout it's out better. Yeah, you speaker. just like actually say, mm -hmm. and you speak up a bit, vulnerable, because that is much better than nobody hearing. Mm -hmm. So we had a few mm -hmm. problems with the mic recently. Yeah. So. And I lost the stuff. Matthias can do that. Yeah. Permission. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> If you, when you have your eyes closed, you don't know what's going on. Yeah, exactly. You can't read the screen. Yeah. Okay, so I hope everybody's in a nice, comfortable seat. And hopefully a nice, comfortable room. And just allowing yourself to switch off from the world. So, bringing your mind inwards. And getting to just feel your body. Just feel yourself sitting here. And all the whatever excitement or activity that has come before it. Just noticing it. Doesn't have to go away. We just get to know ourselves. And we get to accept ourselves. Oh. For me, metta meditation isn't so much about doing metta meditation, but clearing the space in your mind, allowing your mind to quieten, letting go of all the well, the defilements really, but all the sort of doing and activity and busyness of our lives. And as it settles down, then some quietness and goodwill just 
simply accepting ourselves starts to happen, hopefully. So we allow ourselves to just quiet and down. Drawing our minds away from the world. And being inside ourselves. So what do you feel? There might be all kinds of thoughts and tensions in your body, in your heart. But that's okay. Metta is accepting things as they are. Not trying to fix. Not trying to change. but accepting things as they are. So we'll do a guess uh, maybe we'll go through our scan our body as just a way of getting in touch with ourselves in a kind of systematic way. So we'll start by just bringing your attention maybe to your feet. Again, just noticing how they feel. We often spend all our time up in our heads. And don't even notice we have feet. But we pay some attention to them. And a little bit of concern. Making sure they're okay. They're cared for. They are tended to. And 
and then our legs all the way up to our thighs. Again, we take for granted. They're always there. And we spend some time just paying a little bit of attention, a bit of concern for our bodies that take us around, that look after us. Noticing how they feel. Wanting to know, how do you feel, legs? Learning to listen to our bodies. And then to our abdomen, and all the, our intestines, our stomach, our, all these organs that have been working non-stop since the day we were born. Just stopping to notice what goes on in our bodies giving time to listen. So many of our emotions we hold in our stomachs. I do anyway, and I'm sure I think it's proven that there are brain cells in your stomach. But um, just noticing any tensions, any twists, any just tightness that we may be holding. And again, by just bringing attention, not demanding anything of ourselves, just saying that we care, We want us to be well. We spend so much of our time looking after other people being con caring for the people around us. But sometimes we forget ourselves.
and then our chest and all the organs there are there as well the heart the lungs again working from the day we were born Allowing ourselves a bit of a break. To relax. And then our arms right down to our fingertips. And just noticing, noticing our bodies. Not taking it for, taking it for granted. Taking time to know how our arms and our hands feel. Being grateful for all that they do. And finally, our head and all the organs that again have been working since the day we were born. That we couldn't do without. Our eyes, noticing how they feel. Nose. Noticing what's going on, our breath coming in and out, a moment without which we wouldn't be alive. Our mouths, our tongues that help us speak, the 
and to help us digest food. May good things go in to our mouths, but may also good things come out of our mouths. In a nice way, it is. And our ears helping us to make sense of the world. Switched on all the time. Just being grateful. That all of this still works. And finally, uh, our little brains, our minds, the mind is the brain, but the brain that's working so hard, figuring things out, computing things. Saying thank you. Thank you for trying so hard. May you be well. And just being aware of our whole selves as just a person that we can send kindness to. With all our idiosyncrasies, we accept ourselves as we are.
sometimes we find that it's all right for other, other people to make mistakes, but it's not all right for us to make mistakes. But we're just another human being. Not meant to be perfect. Not meant to be always happy. Not meant to be always in good health. Allowing ourselves just to be, just as we are. Now, you could perhaps think of someone you love, someone dear to you, and just as you allow yourself to be just as you are. You allow them to be just as they are. Sometimes happy, sometimes sad. Sometimes things are working out, sometimes they're not. We allow them to be just as they are. But we're there for them. 
a friend. Allowing them to live their life. Not the way we want it to be. But how they have to be. And then we spread our thoughts out to those who we meet at work, at just the people in our lives, our family, our friends, and again, We wish them well. Accepting their lives for what it is. We can't always be happy. Things don't always go right, but that's okay. We still care. We accept. We allow them to live their lives. And then finally, we bring into our minds the whole world. With all its suffering, its wars and peace. It's goodness and it's evil. And we know that's just the way it is. And yet we care. there is anything we can do to help anybody, we'll do it.
And all beings are the owners of their karma and their happiness and unhappiness depends on their actions. and not just on my wishes. We allow our hearts to be open. Because we accept things. We feel the pain. We feel the tenderness. We feel the difficulties of all human beings. That's just part of life. Oh, keeping your mind on this feeling for the last few minutes of the meditation.
Coming to the end of the meditation, bringing your mind back, back to this room, the room that you're in, making sense of being here in this body, in this room. Mm all the thoughts and emotions that usually accompany it. It's okay. You're ready. You can slowly open your eyes. Okay. Well, um, uh, the last few minutes of the session is for any questions or any anything you would like to say or just sitting here. <laughs> it's, uh, it's kind of, you don't feel like talking, but that's fine too. <laughs> but yeah. Nice to be quiet. Oh yes, you can you can um, type if you have any questions or put your hand up or just anything at all that you might want to ask or say. And nothing is also all right. <laughs> Okay, thank you. There's a comment saying that was very beautiful. Very beautiful. Thank you. It's actually, you know, it's our own states of mind. We all receive things differently, but yeah. Okay, there's a. There's a question here. How to handle uncertainty of future with metta? Thank you for the wonderful meditation. Um, yeah, how to handle the uncertainty of future? Well, the future is uncertain. So that's, that's the way it is. <laughs> By the way, it's going to happen the way it is. Well, for me, I just am. I just just accept the pay. I, I accept the worry most of the time. We're worried, and um, we want things to be a certain way. So, yeah, just knowing that we've done the best we can, and what what more can you do, really? You. The future is not going to be perfect. So <laughs> accepting that is a good start. Yeah, it's uh, just going to go be sometimes good and sometimes bad. And um, mm, just accepting, accepting. It's us not wanting things to be a certain way. That's the problem. So, yes. Since this, I'm not sure if that's very helpful, but yes, that's 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 how I kind of think about it. It's not going to be perfect, so hey, 
<laughs> okay, a uh, couple of nice thank yous from, um, and then I've been ill since Christmas and my body isn't playing quite right. It was nice to sit and remember I can just accept it and not wish it was different. That is great, yeah. Like, um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad. And Lizzie says, thank you for uh, so much for a beautiful meditation. That was very helpful. Wonderful. Uh, okay. Okay, right. No names. Um, yes. Well, what, um, just to... Something I, I this is something that I try and practice, I guess, accepting things because most of our suffering comes from uh, trying to fix our, our own minds, our own habits, our own, you know, we're constantly trying to improve ourselves. Uh, but it just never quite works. <laughs> so, I mean, so much of the Buddha's teaching is about. Um, well, all of the Buddha's teaching is that the, we are really not in control. Things happen according to many, many causes, many, many things that have happened in our, you know, our karma, you know, just the condition, so many things, and only one of it is our will. So how can that possibly wipe out everything else? Yeah. yeah, the more we kind of can learn to just sit back and not manage the whole affair, then life just becomes a little easier. <laughs> yes. Um, okay, here is um, you. No, that's just at at. I'm not sure. You remind me of Ajahn Sumedho's definition of Kanti, being at peace with a difficult situation. Thank you. And, and um, then again, thank you for the lovely meditation. Another little step of accepting myself and the way things are. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Um, yeah. Patience is the highest virtue. I mean, we don't like to accept that. <laughs> we try everything to make sure we don't have to practice patience. <laughs> That's the last one on our list. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's why we're in sansara, because we're still trying to fix it. <laughs> but yeah. Patience is so, so much against our grain, so much against our human habit. Uh, but yeah, that, that's, that's what, that's what, that's what we have to practice, which we really would like not to. <laughs> um, mm. Okay. So, ah, uh, oh yes. Uh, nobody's trying to speak. Are you too shy to speak? Yeah. <laughs> it's nice to hear people's voice, but there's not a lot. Yeah. So, I think you've got a question. Oh, oh right. Oh, um. Oh, dear Venable, what if there is resistance during one stage of metta practice? Well, welcome to meditation. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're going to have to work with. You know, I have to, for me, investigate. Um, when your mind is, is able to be quiet a little bit, then it has the opportunity to kind of see what is what is going on? You know, why am I resisting? Um, what am I holding on to? What am I uh, not wanting? So you really can't you 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 really can't just kind of just figure it out or wish it away. 
for me, it's when the mind becomes quiet, really quiet, then you allow that resistance to unfold and you, you, you just have, and you kind of goes, oh, that's what I'm up to, you know? So yeah, for me, it's just allowing, uh, just being quiet enough. Maybe it's on a retreat. Maybe it, it doesn't happen in daily life. But uh, just coming to the bottom of what am I, what am I wanting, really? What am I wanting? So, yeah. Yes. The whole practice for me is like that. Oh, another level of resistance. <laughs> okay. And finally, thank you so much for the very helpful meditation and your wonderful smile, which reminds me to smile inside and out. Yeah, inside and out. Yes. Yes. Oh, allow resistance to unfold. Yeah, allow resistance to unfold. Mm. Yes, it's it's just again that acceptance and you know knowing that we're not going to figure it all out at once. It's the kind of figuring out mind that makes things worse. So putting it aside and just kind of going, okay, this is the way it is. And then slowly when your mind quietens down, then then uh, yeah. I hope that's helpful. Kind of. <laughs> Send metta to resistance. Okay. Yeah. A lot of helpful hints. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It all kind of is, you can't make, it all kind of melds into each other, a bit of, bit of samadhi, a bit of wisdom, a bit of metta. It kind of helps each other to, to, I don't know, help each other. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess that is. Oh, yes. When will Chanda? Yes. When is that? That's it. See you. Oh, I also. Oh, I also give myself metta. Uh, uh, I also give myself to a healing earth metta meditation with self healing as well, with colors involved. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. Great. <laughs> Try that. <laughs> yes, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you for that, Venerable. That was beautiful. It's so, so nice, isn't it? To get different perspectives mm -hmm. on the practice and uh, different slant, even just different language, you know, because we all have our own expressions and ways of sharing. And I mm -hmm. found that really beautiful, the idea of, acceptance meta as acceptance to life yeah mm -hmm. a lot there actually accepting mm -hmm. our lives accepting that other people have their lives to live mm -hmm. it's really wonderful so um yeah we are ending up very very soon and um just to let you know that there will be a no meta is it next week what day are we on uh, so it's the third today. Is it next week? Yeah. It's mm -hmm. next week already that um, we have a um, special monastery meeting again with special people, uh, including Ajahn Brown and Ren Becker. And it's another kind of follow-up on the first monastery meeting, which was a, a kind of celebration of the steps we've achieved and also uh, an opportunity for people who want to be involved to see how we can organize ourselves, any ideas we have, um, ways that we can support uh, this new project and this new uh, community, because we really want to start to expand. So especially if you came to the last one, you're very, very welcome to come to the next. It's nice to continue the conversation. But anyone else who, you know, uh, wants to be involved, or is interested to learn more is also welcome. So that went out in the newsletter yesterday. There's a registration link. Um, it'll probably take me a few days to actually have time to uh, check the, the registrants. So don't worry if you don't get the link straight away. Um, I'm pretty sure there'll be plenty of space. So um, 
there's that and then of course the chanting every Wednesday and I think another sutta class Friday coming up yeah mm. so uh yeah I think that's everything and of course you can uh, be involved as usual supporting us and uh coming to the monastery to offer food and uh yeah also joining the whatsapp group we have a whatsapp group called uh food of the ready which is very helpful for people to um, donate from afar if you can't actually come in person. And as we progress with this, uh, with the move especially, we'll be further away from shops. So what we're trying to do is organise a kind of roster whereby people can uh, offer a supermarket shop whenever they feel inclined or something smaller if if that's more within your means or just to contribute in any way to practice generosity and to feel part of this so please uh get involved however you wish and also if you have volunteering skills or time available to help that's also very welcome so and that's everything so thank you once again and thank you everybody here and uh we can unmute you now and hear your lovely voices too Wave goodbye. <laughs> mm -hmm.